Some cows. We're at Steps Beach, and uh, it's named that because of the concrete steps over there. Not a bad little beach. Not a good place for if you're looking for sand. A lot of coral to even get in, but uh, it's not too bad. snorkel a little bit before we scuba dive tomorrow. Next, we head to Puerto Rico and do some amazing scuba diving at an old military island, including the Candyland and Aquarium Reefs. There we feed Lola, the tax collector. This is very relaxing after San Juan. San Juan was great, but Trying to park and get through all the people, it was a little crazy. We just got done doing a little snorkeling at Steps Beach here in Rincon in Puerto Rico. Nothing uh, too world class or anything, but it's nice to get in the water. Quite a bit of fish, a little bit of coral. Not too bad.
But I hope me and you can remember if you've watched our travel adventure channel for a while you've probably noticed some common themes besides adventure we eat a lot of good food, always seem to find some cats, and we stop at Costco. A lot. We stopped there on the way from Old San Juan. It was the busiest Costco we have ever been to. Even busier than the Costco in Honolulu, and that's one of the busiest Costcos in the world. We only stopped in for some wine and cheese, but we put it back after we got in line. The line wrapped all the way to the back of the store, even past the rotisserie chickens. Still in Rincon, uh, we did the scuba diving this morning out at that island. Probably wouldn't make it now. It's getting a little rough. But I like this area. It's got a lot of surfers. Kind of reminds me of North Shore. Real laid back vibe. Food trucks. So, this is Maria's Beach. It's right behind Calypso's Cafe. And the tacos at Calypso's Cafe were phenomenal. The El Faro Lighthouse is here, where you can watch for whales. And there's a nice park area there, too. Right by the lighthouse is a big green dome. That is a decommissioned nuclear reactor. It's where Domes Beach got its name. Maria's Beach, Domes Beach, Sandy Beach, and Steps Beach are arguably the best beaches in Rincon and some of the best in Puerto Rico. But I suggest coming to Maria's Beach to watch the surfers and more importantly, catching some stunning sunsets. Rincon is one of the best places in the world to watch a sunset. And this beach is an awesome location. We're at the local Taco Shack. Shaka Tacos. So driving from Old San Juan to Rincon took about three hours. We saw some interesting stuff along the way. This kid pulled up next to us and started doing a wheelie, which is no big deal, but then he started weaving between cars and running red lights during his wheelie. Oh my god. <laughs> Good grief. I was trying to get it on video, but Stop. Shannon was yelling Stop. at me. Stop! There's a stuff sign! If you come to Rincon, I suggest staying in the Puntas neighborhood. That's where we stayed, and it had great restaurants and felt very safe. You will also be close to the best beaches in Rincon. If you want to see some of the best beaches in Puerto Rico, make sure to watch our Culebra videos when those come out. So we got an Airbnb fairly close to the beach. However, when we got there, there were people in our room. What is this? There's clothes here? This is communal. Oh. So I knocked on the door and asked this nice couple why they were in our room. You know that? <laughs> well, well, it turns out I'm just an idiot. When I rented the room called The Loft, I thought it was on top. Well, that was the penthouse. The loft was actually on the second floor. Fortunately, that couple was super understanding and super nice. 
we got to know them a little bit, and I wish we could have hung out with them a bit more. If you're looking for a great place to stay, look up the beach pad on Airbnb. As promised, here's where to get the best tacos. The tacos at Calypso had the best shells ever. I wish I knew how they made them. These were probably my favorite, and they also had the best outdoor seating area. Shaka tacos were also very good, and had the best hot sauces by far. They also had some very good vegetarian options. In fact, they had the biggest variety of all the places. Jack's Shack didn't have a lot of options, but their fish tacos were pretty amazing. Once you have your fill of tacos, head over to Tambu. The pork rib ramen noodles I had there were awesome. And if you're in Rincon, see if you can catch a show by Uncle Ward. He is very entertaining. Alright guys, Rincon was amazing and we will definitely go back. If you're looking for the best vacation spot in Puerto Rico, well, that's probably Culebra, which we will show later. But it's an island, and getting there is not very easy. Rincon is definitely one of the best vacation spots on the Puerto Rico mainland, and I highly recommend it, especially if you're into scuba diving or surfing. Thank you.